Hey guys, I'm Mike from Sons Liberty Gunworks. And I'm Christian Craighead. And uh, we're pretty stoked to, to show you a rifle that we collaborated, worked together on, and uh, wanted to put something cool out. The point was we wanted to make a general purpose kind of do-it-all rifle, or what you call the generalist rifle. Yeah, super um, stoked to, to do this sort of project. And in, in my 28 years experience, which included being the lead instructor for a tier one special operations unit, this is the, the weapon system that I wanted to put together that covers not all the bases, but a lot of the bases that I used to do in my, in my work. And versatility is, uh, is key, is the key thing here. Yeah, it's a 13.7 mid-gas rifle. We're using our 13.75 L89 rail and then a Hux muzzle device that brings the rifle to 16. So there's no NFA paperwork. But with that longer gas system and that shorter dwell on the 13.7, the gun is extremely shootable. We wanted a gun that shot very flat, tracked very flat, but also obviously in, the, in traditional Sons Liberty was uber reliable. Yeah, it works. It works well in all all the capacities. We've, we've in the test and development, we shot it at range, at super close range, in all sorts of uh, variations of work. You would call it. And, it, and it's it's a real pleasure to shoot. And I say it's a pleasure, I'm not surprised. And that's why that's why I'm at Sons of Liberty. <laughs> well, so I appreciate that. And then of course with us, man, with with Christian and with Sons, the chemistry's there with a bit of a rebelliousness and uh, and, 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 and uh, self-reliance, man. And, and when I had the opportunity to do this, I was, it's pretty amps. <laughs> we put Magpul furniture on here. I actually really love this, this stock and grip. Um, I think it complements the rifle really well. It's not too bulky. You can use it with, uh, you know, armor or running slick. And uh, if you don't mind, explain the camo for us. So the uh, the camouflage that we're using is the my trademarked uh, version of Rhodesian brushstroke. This is your Rhodesian brushstroke. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. it's Rhodesian brushstroke, and that's because it's just a, a cool camo. One, it's a cool camouflage. It's a really good camouflage, and um, yeah. and it works well in 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 like a bush setting environment, but that's it, it's, it's, it's cool. It's got some hidden symbols in there that are relate to me and my service, but uh, yeah, just um, happy to, to use this kind of camouflage. It's easily one of the most beautiful rifles we've ever made. It, it's strikingly awesome. And I really, if you get a chance to shoot it, you'll see what I'm talking about, the shootability. But uh, this has been, this has been a, a, probably one of my favorite projects we've done, man. And uh, I appreciate your input. Like, it's a good looking rifle. Yeah, and we, also what we talk about is we've got the um, the Blackbeard boarding party. Can you explain the, the, the meaning behind the Blackbeard boarding party? So, so to me, it's just a, it's a cool design uh, that, we, that we made that is it's based on a pirate flag with the with the Blackbeard skeleton skull with the crossed weapons. And these two weapons, the hatchet and the flintlock, are just a nod to close combat and to revolutionary warfare. So I think it's just a cool... Yeah, it works. <laughs> it's certainly in line. It's kind of like a cool fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be dropping these here soon, and uh, thanks a lot. I don't know what to say. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah.